Hello guys, my name is Spraleyoke. Um, I'm here to help some people with Ventrilo. I know lately all the new people coming into raiding, they understand how to download Ventrilo. Go to Ventrilo.com, download the Ventrilo client. Um, once that's downloaded, uh, you need to know how to actually set it up and use it. Uh, it's a very easy setup. This is what a lot of people don't explain to you. They tell you how to get it. They do not tell you how to actually set it up because that's a little more complicated than just telling you to go to a website. Um, but this video will show you uh, step by step. So once you've downloaded it, you're going to have an icon that looks like this baby right here. Go ahead and double click it to open it. Once it's opened, you have your window that looks just like this. Now, your first thing you need to do is to set up a username. Go ahead and click on the arrow to the far right of it, and you're going to type in a new username. Go ahead and type in, and I suggest whatever name you use in-game, that way it's not very confusing, and enter that in there and click OK. So you now have a new username. Alright, now what you're going to do is type in the server information that they've given you, Go ahead and click on the far right arrow next to server, and you're going to click new. Type in whatever name of the server you want to call it so you remember. Uh, for example, mine is my guild, Dragons of Abyss Vent. So I'm going to type that in so I know which vent it is, and I'm going to click OK. Then you're prompted to give uh, the IP, the port number, and password. Your IP or your host name should be something similar to this. It's going to have basically the location, argon, the server, typefrag, and .com, something similar to that. Sometimes it's numbers, um, but usually it's going to be a name like that. And then the port number is usually a 4, a 5, or 6 digit number. Type that in. At that point, you can go down and enter the password if there is one. A lot of vents do not have passwords, uh, but my particular one does. Once you've entered that in, click OK. And there you go, you have your server up there. It says server is available, press connect. So that means you actually entered your information incorrectly. Click connect, only click it once, do not double click, uh, or you may get disconnected. Uh, depending on the server and the vent, sometimes you'll get a message of the day. Just depends on the people hosting it. All right, now you're inside. You see the white screen here it actually has channels these are called channels uh, and you see your name in there as well as if there's anybody else in there alright so if you need to actually change into another channel which more than likely you will find whatever channel you need to be in and double click on it you're actually able to move channels really easily by double clicking and going to that channel alright once you're in that channel uh, if you need to speak into vent you do need a mic or a headset or something that you can speak into. A lot of laptops have built-in microphones. Look for a little slit in your computer somewhere. Um, the default key, push to talk key, is control. Your bottom left control key. When you click that and have that hole uh, or hold that, you'll see that that red speaker next to you becomes green and lit up, which means your mic is open and everything that you're saying into your mic is being heard to everybody else in that channel. Once you release it, it goes back to red, meaning it's not open, nobody can hear anything. If you see one that is yellow, that means that is somebody in another channel talking, just so you know somebody is active in that channel. A lot of vents have an AFK channel, and if you're in that, it's usually muted, so nobody can hear you and you can't hear anybody. Uh, it's usually after 5 to 10 minutes of inactivity of your computer, so if you went AFK for a while, and you need to be back in a certain channel, you should check your vent just to make sure that you're not AFK, or if you are, you can move yourself back into the channel. Otherwise, you'll go into fights and you will hear nothing, and you'll wonder why it's so quiet. Uh, but that is the vent. Uh, if you really need to set it up, you can click setup. From there, you can, uh, everything on there is fine for the time being. Um, the only advanced thing you might want to do is to have it to where you do not push to talk. So then you'll want to click use push to talk key, turn that off. Silence time, you'll want it 0.5 seconds. Sensitivity, you'll want something probably a little bit lower. Click OK. 
and then when you talk it should light up and if it's not lighting up then you need to change that to where it does light up when you are talking. 20? 20 works to a point but you see it's a little bit slower and it has a hard time picking me up all the time. So you might want to change that down to, I don't know, 15? Alright, so see if I'm going to breathe. See nothing. So exactly, you just need something to where if you're breathing it's not constantly open, open and annoying people. Uh, so just mess around with it a bit until you're happy with it. Um, otherwise, click back on setup and you can push your push to talk back. You can also change your push to talk key in there, etc, etc. There's a lot to mess around with. If you're really not sure what you're doing, don't mess with it is the best bet. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments or concerns about any of this video, um, feel free to contact me on YouTube, uh, either in a comment below or in a message, a private message, or uh, get a hold of me in-game on Alliance Kareelstraz, send an in-game mail to Freilioak, or contact me if I'm online, or you can go to www.dragonsofabyss.wowstead.com and send an in-game, or not an in-game, a private mail on there, or you can post on the forums. Uh, meanwhile, guys, best wishes, and hope this video helped you at least a little bit. Thanks, and enjoy vent.